Hello, everyone. Well, we're now here to talk about steel doors and the Herman difference. And we have a lot of topics to discuss um, in this section of our program and a lot of stuff which I think the audience may not be aware of and helps differentiate us from a number of our competitors. Now, I'm delighted to say I'm joined by two of my colleagues here in the UK. Um, Lisa, um, who looks after our installation side on, in the projects team, and Miriam, um, who is our um, head of trade, um, but also the projects coordinator um, within the projects team. And I'm also delighted to introduce Nadia um, from the wonderful um, factory Tortec in Austria. And today we really want to focus quite a bit on Tortec. We have a number of factories in the Herman Group that produce steel doors, but Tortec is one that we have a lot of experience with. We've used their products extensively, and we feel that they have a lot of unique features that would be of interest to the UK market. So if you could just introduce yourselves, I mean, Nadia, if you'd just like to start, just introduce yourself and um, tell us a little bit about Tortec, please. For oh, sure. Hello, everybody. My name is Nadia. I'm the responsible colleague, person uh, for international dis distribution. I work for Tortec since more than five years now. And yeah, what's Tortec? Tortec is 100% Hermann. And we produce fire hinge doors, fire sliding doors, fire curtains, and some special doors also with uh, fire rated features. And yeah, Tortec, as Wolfgang already said, um, we are in Austria and we have more than 300 employees. We have a really highly automated uh, factory. And as you can see in the pictures, uh, we have also qualified personnel also on the factory mm -hmm. who work with this automated um, production. And as you can see also in the picture, mm -hmm. for us, it's really important um, the quality of the products not only the quantity, also the quality. And this is what we want to show you and what we want to discuss today. Excellent. And yes, hopefully by the imagery, you can see, everybody can see um, the modern automated production processes that are employed, not just at Tortec, but are replicated in our other, other factories within the group. And if I could just, um, ask my UK colleagues just to introduce themselves and also just if one of you could just explain the other types of steel doors that we have to offer here in the UK. Hi, my name is Lisa Goodman. I'm the installations manager at Horman UK. Um, not only do we um, install the doors supplied by Tortec, which are excellent, just thought I'd say, we also have several other factories that also produce steel doors. Um, Fryzen and Brandis. They produce a range of different types of doors. We can do external doors between 62 and 78 mil thick with obviously door leaves and internal doors with a minimum leaf thickness of 42 mil, all of which can be supplied with many different frame types and many different finishes. Um, we do a variety of RAL and British standard colours as well as from Tortec, several different stainless steel finishes, which would be very popular with the architects. Um, we also have an option of color coded hinges. So you can either have the option of having them painted the same color as the door, or you can mm -hmm. have them in stainless steel to match your handles. As well, talking about handles, we do a range of different architectural design handles which are also very popular because not many people supply those. It's fair to say an extensive range of, of products. Coming back, <laughs> com, coming back to the Tortec product and what Tortec products and why we like using it, um, typically on our project work, 
um, we would offer a, a minimum of a two-year service agreement um, once we've installed that product. And we found from experience that the Tortec doors have a very low failure rate um, within, within that period. Um, why is that? What makes their product different to other products on the market? Currently, it's the thickness of the steel that I think Tortec use to produce the doors, as well as the fact that our doors are available, like we say, with different frame and fixing types, as mm. well as the fact that our doors are 62 mil thick, whereas some other suppliers are only producing doors that are 42 mil thick. So ours stand the test of time, whereas some others don't. It, it, it's the robustness of them. It, it's the fact that they are made to last. Um, other steel doors may not be. Um, so they are made to, to stand the test of time um, in all different situations. Maybe I can also bring something in. Um, I can also show you a picture of our doors, why they are really stable and why they work the way they do and stay the way they should stay. Uh, mm. Because all our doors are fully bonded and we use um, high quality material also mm -hmm. uh, for the glue, for the sheet and also for the infill. Uh, same as for all equipment we use. And I think that's the point. Um, everything we use and everything we do on production, we do for high quality. And this is why I think the doors are that great as they are. Also very popular with our fitters is the three-way adjustable hinge, mm. which obviously means there's a lot more adjustment on the door when they're fitting it, whereas other people don't supply those type of hinges. Those are a standard stainless steel hinge. Yeah. And we just know from experience, they offer superior wear and tear over the performance of the door. Let's talk a little bit about the specification, the performance of the door. Um, Miriam, you, you have direct experience of this because you're getting the tenders in um, for all these variety of projects that we price. And, you know, as well as the obvious thing about fire ratings, which we'll come on to a bit, um, there's also acoustic performance and very importantly, thermal performance um, is becoming more and more prevalent, more and more important in the market. Is there, mm. is there something we can say on this? Yeah, no, most definitely. Um, certainly when I started sort of six, seven years ago, it was mainly the sectional doors that you needed to have a U-value or a decent mm. U-value on. Um, now it's the whole building. Um, yeah. So steel doors mm -hmm. are included in that. Um, so, I mean, the roughly architects are looking for a 2.2. We're at roughly about a 1.8 most of the time, sometimes a little bit better. Um, mm -hmm. So we're automatically better than the standard that's already in the UK um, yep. and what architects are looking for. Um, that combines with obviously the fact that we can be RC2 rated and RC3 rated as well um, puts us in a, in a better position because um, often they're looking for a combination of the two. And typically what acoustic performance um, are the designers looking for and what can we offer um, in respect to that? Um, we can offer a 42, up to a 42. So it's usually, I think, between a 37 and a 42, certainly yeah. in the Tortec products. Um, yeah. Roughly, I mean, most of the time, um, 42 is fine. Um, and, mm -hmm. and that would be through most of them. That's the highest I've ever seen. Um, but it, it tends to be very specific projects where they want that decibel rating. Um, so if, it, if it's something where they're working on a workshop floor, we've mm -hmm. seen them. Um, so th there is still a case for it as well. And they're, they're, they often do, architects often do ask for a decibel rating. Um, but it's always worth getting in at the front end to get that specified so that we can put ourselves sure. in that best position. But it's fair to say that with the... Tortec product, we easily match, if not better, the performance specification that the client, mm. the architect, is looking for. Yes, um, certainly, yeah. Good. Um, fire ratings, very important. 
what should we just talk a little bit about the range what's available from Tortec on the hinge doors a bit later we'll talk about the fire sliders because again we see there's a big opportunity in the UK market with that um, certainly in the UK we've seen a lot more prevalence of wanting external rated fire doors mm -hmm. um, whereas previously they would have just been your standard fire exits with no fire rating um, so obviously having the 30 minute rated Tortec door um, certainly helps us in that respect. Mm. Um, obviously internally we can have a lot higher um, rating up to a 90 minute on the Tortec product um, but certainly externally rated has, has become a lot lot more prevalent. Um, so having that 30 minute door does does really help. Also Excellent. the bonus for um, the doors coming from Tortec is they supply the frames ready filled so mm. it saves a lot of installation time on site which is always a bonus. Good. I think it's fair to say that this, the, the, the interpretation of steel doors here in the UK, people tend to think of it in industrial applications. And we do a lot of distribution centers up and down the country. Steel doors are used extensively. But um, our steel door products and those from Tortec can be used in a whole variety of applications. And if you look at the mainland European market, they're used extensively in a whole range of different projects. I don't know, Miriam, is this, do you want to just say a little bit about, you know, from our experience where the doors can be used? Mm -hmm. So previously we have put them into an opera house, um, but we can also put them into swimming, swimming pools. Um, we've got obviously with the stainless steel, we can put them into um, food distribution, food logistics as well. Um, any sort of sort of um, pharmaceutical buildings as well. So we've got that that option as well as sort of sports hall doors, along mm. with some of our other range. We can then also do the whole of the product range on that one sports hall. Um, so there's a lot more than just fire exits within a distribution centre, um, just due to the, the versatility of the whole range and, and all of the products that we can get for it. Yes. And I think it's fair to say that the, the hard wearing quality surfaces that we apply to these doors, and of course, all the doors are factory finished, lends itself to, um, to, to these applications. Uh, I mean, Lisa, you, you're at the sharp end with the installation of these doors. I mean, typically from your experience, how, how do they stand up to the wear and tear? Well, other than the usual things that would happen anywhere of, you know, a few chips, overuse on yeah. site, yeah. Um, they stand up really well. Um, stainless steel ones in particular, we don't really have any problems with them. But to be honest, we don't really have any problems with any painted yeah. um, finishes either. So overall, considering most of the installations recently have been industrial warehouses, they've stood the test of time. Excellent. So we've discussed a lot already about our steel hinge doors. Um, an important area um, for us is our range and extensive qualities with fire sliding doors. So Nadia, if I could just ask you just to explain to the audience um, what makes our product so unique and some of the successes that we've had with this wonderful product. For sure. Um, our fire sliding doors are Re really unique because of three important points. Mm. First of all, uh, our easy installation and compact delivery format. What means we have for all doors, for each door, only two pallets. One pallet uh, with the elements and one uh, pallet for the frame. Why the elements? Because it is an element construction. What means mm. it's really easy installation also for high doors and for big doors. Second point, our high quality door appearance, what means we have no screws on the surface and our presses door leaf guide because of a patented track construction. And the third point, uh, our variability for high quality architectural solutions and also operators. What mm. means we have operators for fire sliding doors, 
but in case of fire, the doors are closed by counterweight, not by electricity, what is most of the, uh, most of the time really important. And our high quality architectural solu uh, solutions, I mean, for example, uh, variability for, uh, for guiding types and um, also for different construction types, what means we have single leaf doors, double leaf doors, and also telescopic version. So I mean, that's a very important point is the fact that the door can operate, even though the power has gone down in the building, the fire slider will still operate, which is important. And these constructions, I mean, we can supply some really big doors. I mean, what's the, to date, what's the biggest door that we've supplied as a fire slider? In height, we can go up to nine meters. Yeah. And in width, depending also on the fire rating, on the fire class. Yeah. But for, for example, 30 minute doors, we can, up, we can go up to a width of 16 meters. That's a big door. A big door. Yeah, that's a really <laughs> big door. <laughs> but now, for big holes, you have big openings and so you need big doors yeah excellent um now we've already had some experience of these doors um in the uk and a particular market that we've discovered and we can illustrate that now um is using these doors in bonded warehouses in whiskey distilleries uh, which is the first for us um but Lisa, we've also installed one of these doors here in Colville in our yeah. warehouse, and it's freely available for customers to come and have a look at. Any comments from the installation point of view, anything that we learned um, putting the door in? The size of the door that we've got fitted in our warehouse is actually, uh, very easy to fit. Um, the installers have come back to me to say that obviously it was it didn't take too long to fit either. I think it was two to three days, including the wiring. Yeah. And it also looks very nice from an architectural point of view. On and that's, in, building. that's important. <laughs> it doesn't, yeah, I would call it an architect friendly fire, fire door solution. Good. And also when, when it closes, it does close very nice and smoothly. It doesn't really clunk at the end. It comes to a nice stop. I think it's just the range that you can offer, really. It's yeah. the fact that it doesn't have to just be fire rated. It yeah. can be the MZ version. Um, and we have we are more asked more and more for them. Um, certainly, um, quite recently, we've had quite a big pharmaceutical company asking for them because they didn't have enough room for some other type of door. So they were looking yeah. for this. So there's lots of applications for them. It's not just where a fire rating is needed. Uh, put them on pavilions and sport pavilions and things like that as well, um, where a fire rating wasn't needed, but they didn't they didn't have the space for another type of door. Um, so the fire slider was perfect. And because of how nice the doors look in lots of different situations, mm. people are really attracted to that. Yeah, our fire sliding doors are available in many different fire resistance classes. So that means we have uh, approval, uh, kind of approval, because it's the CE labeling. All our doors are CE marked uh, and proved according to EN 16034. Mm -hmm. And the fire resistance classes away label, what I talked about before regarding the away label dimensions, we have 30 minutes doors, 60, 90, and up to 120 minutes, EI2. And for all these doors, we can also offer uh, smoke tightness. Mm. Our Sliding doors are same as for hinge doors, a way label made from steel and also made from stainless steel with different stainless steel finishes. So for example, also a circular textured finish. What looks really nice in, for example, 
uh, food area or uh, fish industry. And I can show you also a picture of an installed door made from stainless steel with that special finish because we can also offer all our sliding doors powder coated and same colors available as for our hinge doors what's really great because when you have a big project where you want to install sliding doors and also hinge doors you can have it with same color without any differences on it and so also for stainless steel can also be powder coated but i think it's not necessary because it looks really nice made from stainless steel without any coating on it for sure as you can see also in the picture and um yeah also special or great if you have big doors always depends on the dimension for sure but we can offer up to two wicked doors in one door leaf. What means for a double leaf door, we can offer up to four wicked doors. So you can also use this for uh, escape as a, an escape route because our wicked doors can be offered with threshold, mm -hmm. but most of the time they are used and offered without any threshold. So if you, for example, use a uh, equipment a uh, lever handle which can be used for escape routes then you can have this big door and in case of fire you have the wicker the big door closes and you have the wicked door to escape from one area to the other lisa with your installation manager's hat on are there any other aspects of the tortec products which from your experience um makes it superior to some of the other product that's available on the UK market today? Well, with our, both our, the hinge doors from Tortec and the fire sliders, they arrive very well packaged, which reduces the risk of damage in transit. We rarely have any issues with either fire mm. sliders or hinge doors being damaged in transit um, in comparison to other suppliers, hinge doors. Can I say that? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Good. Yeah. I think the 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 overall impression mm -hmm. that people will get from today is that we are able to cover with our steel door solutions yeah. a very wide variety of applications. Yeah. Um, we're able to cover um, both requirements of size, performance, finish. Um, the idea that we can put multiple wicket doors into fire sliders, you know, from an architectural point of view is, you know, is, is very interesting. I think, um, I think at the end of the day, I think a designer would actually struggle to actually catch us out and not be able to incorporate or find a solution um, for their particular application. Um, really, in summary, I would say to the audience, um, you know, please come and talk to us. Um, please contact a member of our projects team. Um, we're more than delighted to come out and talk to you about your application and can offer both the range of standard, but also bespoke um, designs um, for your project. So Nadia, from, from, from my side, thank you so much for joining us. And wow. um, yeah, we, we here in the UK look forward to um, specifying, supplying and installing a whole variety of Tortec products in the future. And thank you to my colleagues, Miriam and to, to Lisa. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.